Hey everyone, Jack Close Painting here with another video in the Just the Tip series. And we're going to be continuing with Chaos, focusing on the Night Lords. And this video is going to cover their particular brand of Night Lord Blue Armor. That really nice dark midnight blue. And the lightning motif that is painted on their armor. So we're going to get started off with our normal base coat of Steinal Res Primer. Prime this dude up nice and clean, just focusing all over the model, making sure you don't let the primer build up too thick in any given place. Easy stuff, make sure you get it. So for the foundation of our Night Lord's Blue, I'm taking this game Extra Opaque from Vallejo. This is heavy charcoal and some model color Dark Prussian Blue. And I'm mixing those two together, it's basically a drop of each and a bunch of flow improver, to get that really dark, almost black midnight blue color. And I'm just going to be kind of lightly spraying it all over the model. I'm going to be leaving the deepest recesses and kind of underside of the model with the, uh, the flat black primer but uh, for most all of the models, like 90% of the model, we're doing this mix of heavy charcoal and dark Prussian blue and just spraying that on very lightly. This is gonna be a very subtle effect. Um, it's gonna look pretty much like blue tinted black. It's not gonna really show up too much. It's just a really good foundation for building up our other blues. And after that, we're gonna go to pure dark Prussian blue by itself. Again, just a drop or two and some flow improver. This stuff is pretty densely pigmented, so you don't need a whole lot of paint, um, especially since I'm only painting one model. Now, if you're doing a whole squad or something, you might want a little bit more so you don't run out. But um, from here on out, we're gonna be focusing on the highlighting phase. So I am attacking the model from a 45 degree angle or higher, just getting that dark Prussian blue onto our little panels of armor inside of those trim pieces and getting a little gradient for all of our different armor pieces. And of course, once we get into the other colors in the model and we block in the trim with our metallics and stuff, it's gonna really color separate those armor panels and make them super pop. And our next blue is going to be Thunderhawk Blue from Citadel. I really like this paint. It actually airbrushes quite nicely with some flow improver. And I'm going to be highlighting again and making our gradient pop out a little bit more with this Thunderhawk Blue. And it's not so vibrant that it's going to look like a Royal Blue or a Crimson Fist Blue, um, like in the Ultramarines range or something like that. This is going to be a really dark, dusky, midnight blue workup. So the Thunderhawk Blue actually works really good for that. And so I'm just focusing on the more prominent parts of our blue armor. And in those little panels where we're doing kind of a radial highlight, like starting from the middle and radiating out, I'm just tightening that highlight in. So bring it more towards the center to kind of pop it out. Now I'm taking our Thunderhawk Blue and some Ulthwind Gray and I'm mixing those together. I'm just basically adding like a drop or two of Ulthwind Gray straight to the airbrush pot to brighten it up a little bit. And I'm not doing it with white because white is a little bit too bright for what we want. I don't want this Thunderhawk Blue 
to get pasteled out. I just want it to be a little bit brighter so that we can come in and do some little spot highlights and really pop out that midnight blue, that night blue kind of color so that we can get a really awesome Night Lords feel to this dude. So it's a totally different blue from anything you've seen me do on the channel before and I wanted to make sure of that because the Night Lords is like a different feel entirely than something like the Ultramarines. Okay, so now we're going to do our lightning, and I've got some Ulthwin Gray, um, and I'm just taking that on the palette here and freehanding in our little lightning strikes. And this is a lot easier than you might think because basically it's just a bunch of little hash marks strung together at different angles to make our lightning thing. So if you're not very good at doing lines, don't worry because this is actually super easy. You just do tiny little hash marks, do one at a time. Just make them at different angles and kind of fork them out as you go uh, away from the starting point of the lightning bolt, kind of like an upside down tree. So just knock those in, take your time. If you're worried about the lines not showing up, just like I said, do those little hash marks. Once you have those in, you can go over those with some more Ulthwin Gray and flesh it out a little bit to make them all connected. Now that we have our lightning kind of uh, scribed onto the model, like a little uh, base coat, sort of, I'm taking some ivory from model color, and I'm going to be very carefully going over the top of that Ulthwin Gray. So I don't want to completely uh, cover our Ulthwin Gray. I kind of want to just accent those little lines with the ivory to make them pop out a little bit more, to get some of that white lightning kind of hurt your eyes when you look at it kind of lightning feel with the ivory there. Okay, so this is our last step for the lightning, and this is a really important one. I'm going to take our Ulthwain Gray and get it into the airbrush with some Flow Improver. And I've slowed the video down to normal speed just so you can see the paint. Um, this is like one drop of Ulthwain Gray and a bunch of Flow Improver to make it almost like uh, milky water. That's kind of the, the look that it has. So I wanted to show that to you so you see exactly what I mean when I say get your paint super transparent. And I've got our air turned down a little bit so it's really soft. And I'm just going over the wider area of where we drew in our lightning with this super transparent Ulthwin Gray. And what that's gonna do is when you airbrush that over the lightning effect, it's gonna give it that kind of aura, that lightning glow, the, the um, ambient light that just kind of hangs around the after image of the lightning strike and it's just gonna make it look like lightning instead of some white scratches on the armor it's a really really easy effect to do you just gotta take your time and be careful and the most important part is getting that paint consistency right which is why I wanted to show you what it looks like when you kind of drag it um, onto the side of the pot so you can see how easy it flows down and just like I said it's like one little drop of Ulthwain gray just like the tip of your brush and put that in some flow improver and stir it up like a lot of flow improver so it's super super transparent And that's pretty much it for the first part of our Night Lords. When we cover this guy again, we're going to do the rest of his armor and some flayed skin and all that kind of good stuff. So I hope to catch you guys next time.